Do, 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 do. We are live. Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to the Free to Talk Sewing Bee. Which, do you know what? I've just realised because I've got all this little extra branding. There you go. You can see it in the corner now. That's good, isn't it? Uh, that is if anyone is watching. Uh, before we start, we're going to just wait a bit, uh, get a, see who's watching, who's getting involved. We are streaming to Facebook and YouTube, so hopefully people can watch on whatever their preferred thing is. Uh, welcome to my studio, as it were. So this is where myself and my girlfriend have our little working area, so you can see behind me there's my main computer. Um, and I'm actually at her sewing desk because I thought it would be suitable. Hey, Lewis, how you doing? Nice to see you. So welcome to our little sewing bee. Uh, this is where uh, a lot of our younger ones uh, have signed up for some sock toys, um, sock snails. There we go, a little picture there. Uh, they've been sent out. Um, and it's an opportunity for me to learn how to sew because even though I'm doing this, I don't actually know how to sew. Um, which makes it more hilarious. <laughs> uh, so I've had a very, very, very quick lesson this morning from my girlfriend, which kind of uh, hopefully helped my memory. Because uh, when I was at school, we did do a little bit of sewing, um, but it wasn't very, very intense. So if you are watching, please give us a like. Please put a comment. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube, uh, to follow this along so we can do it together. Um, there might be some issues with some of the chat functions coming back to me, um, but this is the first time I'll probably be testing it if you are watching it there. Um, so you just have to let me know. Um, and hi, Sam. How you doing? I see ya. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this is what we're going to do. So you should be seeing, I've got me, like in me, free to talk kitchen. I've got my separate camera set up. Um, but on this one, you will be able to see the paraphernalia of uh of the sock snail so we're just gonna give it a few minutes make sure we've got all people that want to join in watching uh, obviously there are some some of the young people can just watch it back if they so wish uh but i just want to give it a little bit of time um and also to give me a chance to just finish my tea really and um make sure i've got enough water to get me through the heat in my studio <laughs> as it is um, but yeah, it's, it's nice. It's a nice little setup. So where I'm where I'm at now, uh, it's a standing uh, sewing table that my girlfriend's got set up on on my right. She's got her sewing machine, which is pretty cool. So she can work between. And then there's my my geek area. So that's where I do a lot of my work. I play all my games. Uh, you see, I'm you know I'm an advanced <laughs> advanced geek with two screens. And then I've got all my geek pictures up. Uh, you might be able to recognise if you, I'm a big Judge Dredd fan, if anyone knows who Judge Dredd is. Great comics and some Star Wars stuff on the background. But yeah, so. So Sam, Lewis, how are you? Let me know. Get in the chat. Keep me going. Because I need some cheerleaders to keep me going for this. Cheerleaders! Right. You're not chatting. Come on. Give me some imp input. Because I have I have said to all the other workers they should watch this. They want to laugh and a giggle. Because uh, as I said, I can't sew, really. Um, <laughs> can anyone sew, though? It's a bit of a philosophical question. To sew or not to sew? That is the question. Uh, so I've already unpacked the sock snail. Uh, if you young people that are partaking of this... I presume you may have done so already because you got a bit overexcited, but it should have come with some stuffing. You'll see that on the other camera. Two socks, nice, nicely different colour socks there. Put them under the colour camera. Would have come with a little plastic bag, which has got your needle and thread, and my extra new favour and some love hearts. Love hearts, one of my favourite things. Uh, and then comes with some directions and a little guide for the uh, template for the antenna of the snail. There's a little directions. And then this is my favourite thing. This is my favourite thing. So it's uh, a certificate of birth. So it's a birth certificate for the snail. So I need at this stage now 
to think of a name for my snail. But I will fill in the other bits. So I'm going to think about this as I sew him because maybe the personality will come out as I sew. But just to make sure that nobody else nicks my snail or my birth certificate, I'm going to make sure I get my name down. So if you haven't done this already, put your name down. Date of birth. What is the date today? It's the 11th of August. Place of birth. Now, I might get a bit a bit uh, kind of creative with that one. But there we go. So James Shepherd is the... This this sock creature belongs to me. There we go. Put that off to one side. Now, we don't, before we start, we don't need the stuffing just yet. Now, you will need um, a decent pair of scissors. Now, because my girlfriend works in costume making and the theatre industry, she, I mean, she's got a really good setup. Um, but if you are... Uh, younger, say under under 12, I'd say, like some of the people we sent out stuff to, make sure that your parents are there with you to help you do it um, or to at least guide you because this is a good opportunity if you learn how to use the scissors properly, uh, but you will need a decent pair of scissors. So these are specifically fabric scissors because uh, you get different types. You get paper scissors, fabric scissors, uh, secretaires for, for getting, uh, getting out all the greenery and stuff. Um, but, yeah. Sam, where are you gone? You're having slight technical issues. You can't hear me. Well. Can't hear you, me. Right. Shall I check my my audio on this end, shall I? My audio is completely fine at this end. Have you tried turning it off and on again, Sam? Are you watching it on your laptop? Have you turned the volume up? All these things. I don't know if anyone else was watching was having difficulty uh, hearing me. It's not usually a problem from my end. Uh, yeah, all my stuff is correct here. What I can do possibly is um, I might mess up the stream if I do this, so bear with me. I'm going to do, you might hear a reverb and echo of me uh, broadcasting. And it's just really for me to check. My stuff is correct here. What I can do, possibly is um right so i do have a uh, sound coming through sam so it's definitely a technical issue with with you unfortunately um oh, i've got everything set up correctly but what we're going to do we're going to get the bits out so i love your thread a little bit of felt i haven't read the instructions yet so i don't know what that's for and then we've got a couple of buttons so i don't know how much i'm going to be able to do in an hour who knows could be wild, could be exciting. Um, all I've done is I have already opened it and had, had a brief look at the template uh, and maybe the first three lines of the instructions. Because what I did see, if I do this and show it on the camera, it does tell you uh, on the bottom of the guide uh, the two different stitches that will be used. So there's a running stitch and a whip stitch. Now, I didn't know what they were, so my girlfriend showed me how to do it. Um, and let me just get out. So this is a practice bit that we did. Now, if you do have a bit of spare um, spare material lying around, then you can have a practice if you, if you want. I haven't practiced yet. This is just her showing me because this could be more funny. It could be more amusing. Um, so you see the straight one, as it says, is a straight stitch. And then the whip stitch is like you do it over uh, two bits of material kind of at an angle. So if if this is the line of the material, then the whip stitch kind of go over an angle like that. You can see on my hand there. Um, and a straight stitch obviously goes stretch. Now... I have been told also that we do when we make this, you do want to make the stitches quite quite small. Um, so you'll see on here, 
Um, so there's this first stitch there, that, that's actually quite too wide. You do want to make it quite small as possible as you possibly can, because that will stop stuffing coming out. There you go. There's a tip from my girlfriend that she gave me, which was, I thought was great. Um, but yeah, so the instructions, I shall read the first ones out. How to make a sock snail. Turn one of the socks inside out and flatten it as shown in diagram one. So there's diagram one. So you see it, I'm going to turn it inside out. Here's this, let's use this sock, turn this one inside out. Left or right, I don't think it matters. So I have turned that inside out. And what I am going to do is I'm just there's some light coming through there. So even though it's very, 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 very hot, I'm just going to close my blinds this room there we go that's a bit better right so you, you might get some weird and wonderful sounds in the background uh because um, uh, I, I live in a flat now uh, and it kind of you get all the noise from the town center so ice cream vans going by um police cars motorbikes the whole lot going past so there we go we've got that done so the antenna shape at the toe end of the sock as shown in diagram one using a running stitch so you can see from the diagram there we've got the antenna going round uh, and it is below that top bit of the sock so what i've got here and if you do have um, i've got a little blue sharpie um, any felt tip should do, and if you want to do this to mark it out, it will be useful, but do not press too hard because you don't want the ink to sink through from, from what you're drawing on. Um, now, I'm going to be very, very light, and so you might not be able to see it too well on the camera, um, but all I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a look at it. So I've got the ball bits there. Mm, let's go down to about there, shall we? Again, below below the lip, pressing lightly, and there we go. I think that's our first little antenna. So now we need to do the running stitch. So what we want to do on here is obviously because we're at the end of the sock there, so we want to do a running stitch just all the way along. Now, I have been told, now let me get me, oh, it's James Proof, I can't get it out. <laughs> I can't get it out. This is fun there. Improvisation incoming. Right, I need some pliers or something. Ah! <laughs> we've we've struggled at the first hurdle. Excellent. So this is why I need parental supervision just as much as anyone else. It's been put in there really solid. Yeah, anyone can see that. Really, really solid. So I need to find, I've, I do have a little pair of pliers somewhere. Because I can't get a grip because it's so hot today. I'm a little bit sweaty, basically. <laughs> Which is really funny. I don't know where those pliers have gone. Slight technical intermission. It's fine. Don't worry. Ha ha! I 
I will not be defeated. Cha-ching! There we go. See? Will not be defeated. Right, so we know we know that's quite well, it's, it's only really a little short way, isn't it? Um, but I've been told that you, you don't want to have too much thread at one go, okay? Oh hello, Lau. Watch yourself, because this is for the young people. Unless, unless Lau, you'd like me to send you a sock snail, which could be hilarious. So you'll see the thread. Now, my girlfriend has said that a lot of people, when they just first get started, because they don't know how how much they're going to be sewing, just kind of unravel it, unravel it, unravel it, unravel it, and just keep going. They end up with a massive long piece of thread um, that gets tangled up. So you don't really want to do that. So the advice is what you want to do is about, about 40 centimetres. So I've got a ruler handy, um, and a good way of estimating it is you just get the end of the ruler and then... Just check how long it is, and then just do a bit extra. So I'm going to just, because I've got a bit too much there. So you want a bit extra. And snip that off ready. These massive thick scissors. Now, obviously, if you are, if you do need some parental guidance, careful. Because as we found out, is I need parental guidance as well. Now, do need a little bit more light from this end it's just so i can kind of see what's going on right let's try and thread the needle cat shall we so you'll have on there you'll be able to see the eye of the needle and then the thread It takes a lot of concentration, a lot of concentration. I wonder if it was a bit frayed. Yay, we got there. Aha! James will not be defeated. So I do have sweaty big hands, <laughs> which sometimes makes it difficult. Annabelle is sewing with you. We were a bit, a bit late. That's fine. I mean, if you want to join in, that's good. I like it. Hello, Annabelle. Uh, now, Gemma, who's watching, um, she, she's a parental guidance, and I feel like I still need parental guidance here, so that's great. So... I don't know how far you've got uh, Gemma with Annabelle or Annabelle with Gemma. I don't know who's teaching who. Could be Annabelle teaching Gemma. Um, but, yeah, we've got everything out. We've drawn the little idea of the antenna, which is great. Um, and that's and that's through YouTube as well. That's really good. I'm glad you actually joined in there, Gemma, because I wasn't sure that the um, comments would come through from YouTube live properly. Now, so we've got that threaded. That was, for me, the most difficult bit. OK, just because I've got big fat fingers. Now, the next bit we want to do is we want to just sew um, a knot in the end. Now to do, well, so tie a knot in the end. So with that, all you need to do is obviously you'll have, I mean, I've got massive, massive, massive hands. So you do you want to, all you need to do is just wrap it around your finger twice. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go again, just because I don't trust myself, to be honest. There we go. That's better. That is better. And then, yeah, just poke, poke the other end through. And bing! There's a knot. I don't know how far close you can see that. Uh, where's my camera? can't see that too well so then what you want to do 
is you want to cut the cut the thread so it's just about a couple of millimeters really if that just at the end you don't want to be too close to the knot um just just because it'll just muck it up a bit to be honest so we can start sewing a bit now this might now not be long enough because of the knot i've tied and everything else but we're learning together so what we want to do here is we want to go back to front so on one side so i'm going to, i'm just going to go through as close to the edge as possible and just bring bring the thread through i don't know if you can see that yeah oh no it needs another knot <laughs> Right, so you might have to do some bigger knots there because that's just come straight through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another bit of thread. That means I've got to go through the rigmarole of trying to get it through the eye again. Oh, look at that, though. Look at that. I'm a pro already. All right, okay. So because of the last time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to probably do a bit more than I actually need, really. And then I'm going to... Wrap that a few times because it's definitely going to need a bigger knot. Bigger knot, giant knot, knots, knot, knot. How are you getting on, Annabelle? Let me know. Get in the comments. Well, that's not just not gone well at all, is it? I've mucked it up again. One second, people. Right, I've gone out there. I need some assistance. So we've got the expert coming in because I mucked up that little knot. See, look at that. Look at that. I'm not an expert. But... She is an expert. <laughs> okay. So she's going to show me how to do it because I said I was going in blind. Say hello to everyone, Flick. Hello. <laughs> so you're doing a knot around your finger. Yeah. And then pull your needle through through your loop oh you can do a knot like that if you pull it really through the right way so go through the loop through the loop and you do a oh knot. see that's how you get a bigger knot oh which bit are you trying to say doing this bit okay where's the camera oh there. so i've got this one there for the sewing okay so if you put it through so don't pull it too tight, but it still comes through. Okay, mm. so pull it so the knot stays there, but then you could do a back stitch. So if your knot's there, go backwards and pull through. And if you do a few back stitches in the same place. I'm watching avidly here, people. That will act like a knot. 
Sorry. My fingers are a bit sweaty. That's because it's really hot in the studio. Because <laughs> this is not only a sewing studio, it's also a geek studio and now a TV studio. How many studios do we need? So, yeah, do a few back stitches in the same place. And you can move it along a little bit as well. So a back stitch, you go in behind where your thread comes up, through your, your fabric to the back. <laughs> I've just had a comment, James, your girlfriend helping seems like cheating. I'm just going to put this up so everyone can see it. Uh, it's not cheating, it's parental <laughs> guidance. That's what it is, parental <laughs> guidance, which we all need at times. I push your needle through to the front, Yeah. pull it through, and then go back through to where you started from mm -hmm. the beginning of your stitch, <clears throat> and they create that stitch that goes behind and then you just do it in this move it along a little bit and then do the straight stitch and then uh, do another back stitch and then you can just continue with your straight oh, if i don't stab my finger see even i stab my finger mm -hmm. after 15 years of sewing um and then you can continue with your straight stitch wicked there you go Thank you. So I had a little bit of a helping hand there, which hopefully has helped all of you too. So let's have a look at her work. Oh, look at that. Looks wicked, doesn't it? Right. So, so here we go. Parental guidance. Oh, is that a bit too far away? What do you reckon? Well, you can do. You can back stitch along the whole bit, and then it will make it really secure. Oh, okay. Just got to find out where where the bits are. And then just go through again like that. Yeah. Here we go. Hey! So everybody, what do we think of James's first first stitch? Back stitch. Back stitch. How's that? What does what does everyone reckon? Have I done all right? <laughs> let's 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 put it to the expert. How's that for my first try? Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. There we go. Hey! James wins. So as well as being now a YouTube personality, a radio host. Um, a video editor. I'm now a sewer. Look at all these skills I've learned in lockdown. How amazing is that? Well, thank you very much. That's all right. Good luck. Thank you. Well, Have if, fun sewing. Say bye to everyone, Flick. Bye. <laughs> uh, right, so here we go. It's, uh, so I'm back this side. Just going to keep it going. So I'm going to try and do my. I'm still going to carry on. Try with the straight stitch that we've got on on the guide. But I'm going to try and do them fairly. We'll try and do them fairly close together. Good to see. Now, when you pull it through, I do know you do you don't pull it through really tight because what will happen is you'll end up pulling all these bits together too much, and it will get really really scrunched up because you do want to leave some space uh, for when you put the stuffing in. And I'm just taking my time because I haven't done this, as I said, since I was school. I think I was 13 or 14. And um, we had a we, we had a called CT lesson at the time, so consumer technology. Um, and we basically learn, well, we're meant to have learned how to use a sewing machine. Obviously, I haven't remembered 
uh, how to use a sewing machine or anything and some basic sewing. And I do remember, mate, we had to make some uh, hand puppets, like, you know, like uh, Punch and Judy type stuff. And do you know what? My mum still might have it. And I made a goblin that was on, like a hand puppet on me. You know, uh, it was, it was, I made pigtails and everything for it. <laughs> me with no hair making pigtails. Weird, isn't it? Stranger things have happened. So, yeah, just take your time. Make sure there's a little bit of play in there. But, yeah, this is good. This is actually quite soothing. Weirdly. I mean, my, my girlfriend has been has been threatening to kind of teach me sewing for, for ages since we've been together. It's like, well, why don't you just try some sewing? I'm like, you know, being all manly, like, no, nah, no sewing for me. No, nah, I'm all right. Yeah, yeah. Foot, football, 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 all that kind of stuff. But it's all right. This is quite good fun. Once I learn how to tie a knot and how to stop it falling apart. Yeah, so if you are still watching, if you're joining in, just give us a like, give us a comment, just let me know you're there. Uh, so I know Annabelle is trying is doing it with me at the same time. She might have gone gone back to the earlier part of the video, which is good. It's fine. You can do that. Obviously, you can watch this back if if you're in receipt of the sock sock craft. But also for those watching. I need I need some name suggestions for Miss Snail because obviously I've got his birth certificate. Oh, I've already decided it's a he. So so yeah, it doesn't need to be a male name at the moment because I've, I've just decided it's a he. Now a few years ago when it snow, snowed loads, um, my my girlfriend and I we we ended up making a snowman. Now because I'm even though I can't say I'm still a bit arty. Um, did a bit of sculpture many many years ago and so i made an actual proper face with a nose and everything for the snowman um and we had a big argument about the name of the snowman um about whether it was a boy or a girl and i decided it was a boy and the snowman's name was derek and she didn't like it she didn't like it she's like what about a girl's name so i said deirdre <laughs> but she didn't really like the name too much Right, so <laughs> the antenna are, are not very rounded. Not very rounded at all, but, you know, it's my first time. Sorry, I was concentrating there. That's why I took it away from the camera. I was trying to practice coming back from the other side. Without actually turning it round and looking. A little bit off. Here we go. Yeah, so at the end of this, we will want people to show, send their photos of those that made. Uh, I do know <laughs> one, of the, one of the young people that we got this sent to, uh, Paige, you know who you are. So yesterday she was like, oh, James, I made the socks, the socks now. It looks really good. I'm like, Paige, we were meant to do that together today. And she's like, oh, I haven't made the sock, sock snail. Really funny. But do you know what? If you have if you have already done it, when, when we sent it out, do you know what? That's fine. Uh, all I do ask is if you send us a picture, send me a little picture so I can do something at the end. Uh, I mean, I've only got an hour today. Uh, we're already halfway through, so I'm, I'm probably not going to finish it because Paige said it took her like a few hours to do. But, you know, we can do it again next week. So we'll see how much I get done. So it might get to the stage where 
I mean, I've still got quite a lot of sewing here to do. But it's getting faster. It's getting easier. It is getting faster and easier. I'm getting better at it. <laughs> with, my, with my parental guidance. <laughs> But I hope everyone is drinking lots of water today. It's very, very hot. Because I'm going to be stopping for a quick little water break in a second. Um, because this we live in a flat on the fourth floor. Um, so anyone that knows some basic science is heat rises. So we've got all the kind of extra body heat or mechanical heat from appliances. Like fridges give off a lot of heat. Not a lot of people know that, but they do give off a lot of heat. All coming up towards us. And our windows are, are like kind of quite thin. Uh, so it does get in the summer. It's really, really hot, really hot. On the other side, once, once the weather starts getting worse and it starts getting cooler... Because we're kind of a few floors up, we don't have to put the heating on as much because everyone else puts the heating on below us, which is quite nice. <laughs> so we save on the heating bill. There you go. James's top tip. If you're going to live in a flat, live high up. So you can nick everyone's heat. All right. Now I've just come through that side. I'm just going to have a little bit of water. I've got the blinds closed so for the, for the light on the camera and stuff. It's very, very warm. Very warm. So, yeah, anyone that's kind of like joined in halfway through, hello. And if you have or watching back, hello again. Yeah, but I hope you're enjoying, enjoying a bit of the sunshine. Um, but do if you do get really bad with the heat, do 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 kind of get some water, get in the sun, get in the shade, or follow mine and Nicola's advice from Friday on Free to Talk TV. Have an ice cream. Because I think I might have to have an ice cream because I'm boiling. Yeah, so keep it going. I think mine are getting a bit better as I go. Oh, they're getting a bit more even, I suppose. So, I mean, what, what, here's a question for everybody that's watching. Whilst you're doing this or, you know, what, what are you doing at this moment in time? Are you listening to the radio as you go? I mean, I can't listen to the radio, unfortunately, while I do this, because otherwise Facebook will shut me down <laughs> for copyright and stuff. Yeah. I suppose unless... I mean, I've got a few mates who are in bands and DJs, unless I play any of their original music. That could be quite fun. I might see what I can get away with for next time. But what are you doing at this moment? If, if it's too hot outside, what are you doing to keep yourself busy? Let me know. Give us some suggestions. It's always good to hear. So obviously we've had our online activities going on. Uh, Kevin is doing his forest schools. I think there might still be some spaces for that. Uh, so if you are interested in that, I think you have to be 12 for that. But I think they are trying to open up to youngers. Um, but yeah, but get, get, give us a message. You can see there's a bit of a delay on my sewing camera there. Oh, I missed a trick there. Instead of being called it camera one, she'd have called it sewing one. Sewing one. You better see my bald head. That's a point. Has anyone has anyone seen the new the new Aladdin film, the live action? Because we've got Disney Plus now, and um, I'm thinking of putting it on, but we've got no idea what it's like. Because I did I did enjoy the original, 
something about that period of Disney films, like Little Mermaid is still one of my favourites uh, from that stage. Um, and and I do uh, a great rendition of Kiss the Girl. Whoa, whoa. Sha la 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 la. There you see her sitting there across the way. There you go. I do love my karaoke. I really missed karaoke actually through through the lockdown. Although it's definitely too hot to go go inside a, a karaoke bar. You just need to be in a garden. Well, that's the one thing about us being in this flat. We don't have a garden. It's, re it's been really really difficult. Um, I mean, like just going, trying to get some air, like going out for walks around the park. It's it's not the same, really, is it? As having your own little space. But we try and get, we try and get around it. We do try. All right, I'm gonna have to probably get some more thread soon at some point you're going to go into the paddling pool after this and aladdin is amazing i do, I do look like i'm enjoying myself but it's really soothing i'm gonna make you know what maybe what we should do is because of lockdown because we as youth workers we do we don't often get together too much because it's quite difficult so we do we do live in different places um i mean christmas is a thing where we try and get together have a drink have a meal together but you know we've all got different lives um and then the youth clubs we do them so late it's like oh we're, we're just too tired to go to the pub after that um so maybe 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 sam do you know what maybe we could do this what do you reckon just have a sew a sewing competition. I reckon Connor would be really good at it. I just I weirdly think he would. Don't know why. Oh, now I can't see where I am. There we go. So my snail is definitely going to have one eye that's a bit oblong. A bit off kilter to the other one. Right, so I think... I'm coming to the end of this, this one, so you can have to tie it off. So what you want to do... It's come up close to uh, an end stitch. You can't sew. Well, weirdly, Sam, do you know what? You're watching Free to Talk Sewing Bee, where we learn how to sew together. There we go. See? Caught you out. Right. And then, because we want to tie this off. So... Tie it off along on the thread. A few times. Should make a nice knot. And then I'm gonna go again just to make sure. Just to make sure. Now this is because now you don't need to worry about too much on this side about how messy the knot is because this is actually going to be the inside all right so let's just check the handiwork yeah so there's some play there that's good let's get some more shall we
Just making it a cleaner, a cleaner snip. Right, so I might I might look a bit weird on camera now because I've just realised that every time I go to an hour, you can see it's my bald head. <laughs> So once you get over the first one being a bit difficult, it gets all right, doesn't it? Right. I'll do a bit longer one. So let's see if I can remember how to do that extra knot. So round a couple of times. Two, three times, four times a lady. And then we go through. Oh, drop me needle. Whoops. We go through. <laughs> I didn't go through the right bit. So basically, I just undid it, which is hilarious. So I still need more practice as well. So I've only got one little knot. I'm not very good at doing knots, apparently. That's what we found out. So. So I'm going to do it slightly differently. Because this makes sense in my brain. So, because the knots are too small, uh, really, to fit on... You know with the sock because we'll just put it through so what i've done is i've just put it through that thread uh that we just did uh to tie that bit off so i am gonna go through that again and that should hold nicely and there we go <laughs> uh, you've just put up a comment with nothing there, Sam. That is quite impressive. <laughs> I can't see any comments. It's just you pressing enter on it, is it? <laughs> oh, I've got tangled up somehow. Oh, no. Oh, no. What have you done, James? All right. Right. Oh, that should be all right. Let's just uh, hope. You're showing on my. What did you say? Yeah. It just looks blank. <laughs> just looks blank. Really weird. All right, where was I? It's all going wrong today. But this is just part of the fun of having uh, Sam as my technical assistant. All right. 
right so i reckon can you see there i got a bit tangled that was because it got tangled because i wasn't really following the advice i gave at the beginning i reckon Should I call my snail Jeff? What do we feel about the name Jeff? Uh, the least technical person in the world. Yes, you are. <laughs> although although there's, there's a few other youth workers that would probably kind of fight you to, to have that accolade. I mean, because we've got real extremes, haven't we? Because you've got me and Connor, who are actually quite comfortable with all the technology. I mean, we, but, but, but no, we're not really experts. We just we just enjoy technology, um, you know, like the, <laughs> the computer behind me. Um, and then you get a, a few people. It's, it's, it's just one of those things. It just happens, you know. I mean, there are young people at the moment. Like, oh, I don't like Facebook. Yeah, a few ones I talk to and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't like computers. And there are others that just find it interesting because you're allowed to be interested in stuff. You're allowed to be interested in whatever you like. I mean, it's like the term geek. When people say that, we nearly called up calls yours, Jeff. Oh, Jeff is obviously a good name, but it's all right. We can we can decide about it. I mean, I haven't, I haven't put it on the birth certificate yet. So yeah, so when people use used to say you know what a geek, it usually was just like a computer geek, wasn't it, or someone that read Dungeons and Dragons and Lord of the Rings, which is me. I should I should say, and lots of comics. But now you can be a geek is a bit of a catch-all term. So you can be a geek on football teams or knowing lots about your football. You can be a geek on anything you're really interested in. So it's become that kind of word like that, which isn't really derogatory. You know, it's not really a bad word or a brilliant word, which is kind of nice. So Gemma, Annabelle, how's yours coming along? How are you getting along with your antenna? Mine's coming on all right, actually. I'm quite, quite impressed. God, have I become a sower? Lost the needle a few times. <laughs> so I've stabbed myself a few times. Sam's missing out on all this enjoyment. She could have been joining him. Could have been showing off her needlepoint skills. Oh, I've done that a bit too tight there. So you always concentrate on what you're doing, James, and everyone else watching. It's very important. I suppose I've been kind of lucky having someone here to show me, to get me started off, really, with that first bit. Didn't she do well? Didn't she do well?
feel like I'm on the final stretch for this antenna. So we might, before the time is up, we might actually get to stuff it or we might save that for next week. Because we've still got those buttons for eyes. Should probably do that next week. Because this is probably the longest bit of sewing. But also, it is really, really hot. And as Gemma and Annabelle said, they need to get in that paddling pool. I mean, we did... Uh, my girlfriend and I have been talking because we're still technically in lockdown because uh, <laughs> we haven't got a garden. We wonder like when we're kind of, if we'll ever be allowed out before the summer goes, about basically on Amazon ordering a paddling pool to be delivered to a friend's house who's got a garden so that it arrives and they go, what's this? And like, oh, can you fill the paddling pool up for us so we can come around? <laughs> Which... Our friends would, would definitely do, they'd, and they'd definitely laugh at it. It'd be really funny. But we might we might miss the summer, unfortunately. Um, but I do have some other friends of mine who do have a hot tub. So maybe when the weather's a bit colder, I can just... Because uh, I've still got a key to their house. So sometimes my friends do catch these. I've still got a key to your house when I fed the cats. So when you're on holiday, um, <laughs> it be, who's been using the hot tub? Uh, no one. No one. I, it wasn't me. Oh. Yeah, so for those that watched, I hope you've just enjoyed laughing at me a little bit. For those joining in, enjoyed actually doing it. It has been, it has been quite relaxing. It has made me very jealous of anyone with a paddling pool, though. But, you know, I'm sure I'll get over it. Oh, I'm on the final stretch. Look at this. Final stretch. We're getting there. It's definitely going to be improvised for the ending, though. I don't know how to tie it, tie it off. Oh no! No! Lost the needle. Rethread time. Yes! 
Done it. It's all right. I've saved it. Right. So as my girlfriend did, back stitch it. So we're just going to go over this a few times again. Someone's making lots of noise outside my flat. Hopefully you can't uh, hear that too badly. Yeah, and he's gone. Got no idea what this is going to look like on the good side. Who knows? Be a nice surprise. Nice surprise. All right. So we've just gone one o'clock. So I am going to tie this off. Tell I'm really concentrating because I've gone, gone completely silent for that bit. Right. And there we go. It's not as uh, neat on that side, but it looks all right, doesn't it? So you can clearly see the shape, which looks pretty wicked. Uh, but yeah, that is where we're going to stop for today. But do make sure you keep all your stuff together and safe and sound. So you got your thread, you've got your needle, make sure it's sharp end. Um, and just let me just get it on the right side and then just put it through the threads maybe be easy if i do it this side so you can see it so just put it on some of the threads just so it's safe yeah off to one side oh where's the other sock and i'm going to put the other bits i need back in the plastic there with the buttons for eyes. There we go. So if those watching, if you get to this stage for this week, where you've just sewed the shape of the antenna, that is brilliant. Well done. Uh, well done to me as well for actually kind of managing it. Uh, so next week, same time on Facebook and YouTube, we are going to take this shape and with our scissors, we are going to cut round it. Um, so that we've got the actual antenna shape and once we've cut round it we'll be able to turn it inside out uh, and you'll be able to see the actual antenna shapes hopefully uh, but yeah but thank you everyone for joining me i hope you have a good rest of your day get in that paddling pool have an ice cream have a nice cold drink all these things to keep yourself cool me i'm i'm gonna melt i think in a second because uh, i wore my black work t-shirt in this burning heat and i've done really well <laughs> but yeah there we go all right guys well thank you very much for having a look i'll see you again next week be good i'm gonna end the broadcast <laughs>